Maybe just by being better than him, you know? That's why I follow the rules. Like, the jam sessions. That's what she calls them. Miss Taylor, our fearless leader, Miss Taylor, who we never actually see. She sends some poor teacher down, or, or teacher in training to talk to us. <laughs> oh my god. Wednesday nights in our pajamas. You don't have to attend, but it's encouraged <laughs> our dorm meetings. I wear my nice flannel pants and long t-shirts. Suzette wears a see-through top and a thong in front of all girls, so the point would be what? I don't know. And wears big men's striped PJs if she's okay. If she's not, then she wears whatever she's been wearing all week including the same underwear day and night it's so meaningless though you know you know what it's like when adults pretend to listen to you but you can tell that they're really thinking oh should I get my highlights touched up oh I forgot to make an appointment for Devin's cavity and all the while they're nodding and saying I can see why you feel that way and acting like you can't tell that their laptop is clearly more important to them than you are a healthy mind and a healthy body for the well-rounded young woman. That's the Taylor motto. That's what all the running up and down in the freezing cold with a ball and a stick is for. Half the teachers really are well-rounded. They didn't used to be actors who are just failed, bitter, barely over the hill, just the way the Starwood teachers are. Like, one's waist is the size of one of my mom's exercise balls. Em's waist is too, though. And I mean that in a totally nice way. 